Well, folks, another year, another Anime NYC. And like last year, I had a great time, but it felt a little bit different from what I remember last year. This is going to be a quick video since I feel that I got more or less the same amount of enjoyment as I did last year. So I'm only going to talk about the significant differences uh, between this year and last year. Oh, and I should point out that I only attended on Saturday. I wasn't able to attend on Friday, not because of the weather, but because of personal issues. And uh, it just so happened that the day before Anime NYC, Friday, that there was a snow day. And from what I heard, it continued well into the morning. So from what I've heard, Friday was a bit of a rough beginning because of the long lines, the long queues and everything, because of the bad weather. So I don't really blame them. But even with that issue, I, I still wish I would have attended Friday though. So apart from that issue, Anime NYC was great. I heard a lot of people say that that was the only bad thing that happened compared to the rest of the weekend. So anyway, let's get down to the nitty gritty, shall we? Now, upon entering the con, as I expected, there were significantly more people there. The area between the show floor entrance and the main entrance from the Javits Center was pretty crowded, I'm, I must admit. I was surprised to see that. Don't get me wrong, it's nowhere near the insane levels of New York Comic Con crowded. I mean, I can still breathe throughout the convention. But at that area, it was kind of creeping up there, you know, just saying. Even in the areas of the Javits Center where Anime NYC wasn't occupying, there were people there. There were cosplayers chilling and having a good time, just hanging around. But other than those differences, in terms of experience, the event was pretty much the same, more or less, which is great. Like last year, the show floor took place only at the left-hand side of the Javits Center. However, this time, there was a little bit more space inside the show floor. A new area was open this time, unlike last year where that area was completely closed. Arasali was once again upstairs like last year, but sadly I wasn't able to go see it because I didn't... I didn't feel like going through the whole bag checking process over and over again through the show floor and to the artist alley and back. Which, yes, again, there, the bag checking is still the same as last year. You still have to check your bag every time. You can't. They don't have. You can't just do it at the main entrance and that's it. You gotta do do go through that. And the main reason why they do they they have to do that is because of Javits Center policies. So the only way that will ever change is if Anime NYC rents the entire Javits Center, like New York Comic Con. And to be honest, I'm kind of mixed about that. I mean, on one hand. Yeah, if more people attend, then there will be more um, more guests, more people on the show floor, more stuff to show on the show floor. So they're going to have the entire uh, building occupied. So that means they can have the uh, central bag security system that, and just have the bag check right at the entrance. But on the other hand, I don't want Anime NYC to get too crowded like New York Comic Con. Like, I, I just love that, that being able to breathe throughout the convention is great. Just having a good time like that, rather than going to New York Comic Con where it just feels like, it, it just feels so stressful and shit. But, we shall see. So while I did enjoy the atmosphere of Anime NYC this year, in a way, I, I kind of prefer last year's Anime NYC. Like... Last year's Anime NYC just felt so chill and so fun at the same time. This one doesn't feel quite as chill, but it was still great. Don't get me wrong, it was still great. I, ju I just loved the first year. Like, the first year just felt so special. But maybe it's just me being biased. Um. Now, getting into the tickets and ticket pricing. Um, the tickets were just as easy to obtain just like last year, and they were cheap as well. Although, the prices this year went up a bit, like, Saturday, Sunday, and weekend tickets went up by $5, while Friday went up by $10. So while they're a bit more expensive than last year, 
they're still a lot cheaper than getting New York Comic Con tickets and a lot easier to obtain than New York Comic Con. I mean, a weekend ticket alone, which is $65, costs a lot less than paying $150 for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday individual tickets for New York Comic Con. And it's over $200 if you're paying for all four days. And just like last year, you could buy Anime NYC tickets at anime stores all across New York City. And for the first time ever, Midtown Comics, the store that used to sell New York Comic Con tickets, is now selling Anime NYC tickets. Isn't that just awesome? Just like old times, right? You can just buy a ticket to a convention there and you're good to go. I remember just walking into a Midtown Comic Store and buying Thursday New York Comic Con tickets back in 2013. This is like five years ago, god damn. And then because New York Comic Con tickets were selling out so fast, people had to literally camp out, camp out at 5 o'clock in the morning and wait in long lines just to get tickets. And now they don't even sell tickets at all. You just have to buy New York Comic Con tickets online. And now they're selling Anime NYC tickets. But with that being said, all of that could change in the coming years. Judging by how fast Anime NYC is growing, we could see the same problems that New York Comic Con has right now. I'll get to the exact attendance numbers in a moment. Now in terms of guests, you had people like Anisong World Matsuri, Hironobu Kageyama, Hiroshi Kitadani, Vampy Bit Me, Mika Burton, Voice actors like Vic McNagna, Tony Oliver, and Carrie Walgren. And for the first time ever, Anime NYC had live performances at the Hammerstein Ballroom, which is awesome. Sadly, I didn't get to see any of the guests. I did see Vampy bit me at the show floor in her own table, doing autograph signings, taking pictures and whatnot, but she was busy with other people, so I couldn't approach her and say hi and take a picture with her. Last year's Anime NYC had an estimated attendance of 20,000 people. This year, however, there was 36,000 attendees. And thanks to this growth, next year Anime NYC plans to expand to Hall 3B. That is incredible and it shows how fast the con is growing. I mean, it just surpassed New York Comic Con's first year. And it's gone well above and beyond New York Anime Festival's final year. And by that, I mean their final year as a standalone convention before merging into New York Comic Con. Not their final year overall, which was 2011. And they couldn't even touch 30,000. Hell, they couldn't even touch 25,000. That's saying something a lot about Anime NYC. Not only that, but Anime NYC is now the third biggest anime convention in the United States. It's only behind Anime Matsuri in Texas and of course the Big Daddy Anime Expo. Anime Matsuri has over 40,000 while Anime Expo has over 110,000. Though I have no doubts that it'll easily surpass Anime Matsuri next year. Now as for Anime Expo, that's going to be a bit of a challenge. It'll take a while to get there. I don't see Anime NYC surpassing or even coming close to New York Comic Con's attendance because New York Comic Con has Hollywood on their side. They've got like Marvel, DC, all the big studios. They got AMC. They've got Nerdist. They got all that shit. While Anime NYC has mostly Japanese companies on their side. And of course dubbing companies and licensing companies. New York Comic Con's attendance this year was around 250,000. Yeah, how the fuck do people breathe in that con? I swear to God. So yeah, Anime NYC is, is a great con, and it is doing very well. It's growing, and I bet Reed Pop is scared. I bet Reed Pop is like really, really scared, like shitting their pants, because a con that uh, happens immediately after New York Comic Con is growing pretty fast. I bet they regret shutting down New York Anime Festival and merging it into New York Comic Con. And especially after their failed attempt at bringing back Anime Festival under Anime Fest at NYCC last year when they just threw it at that Pier 94 place and 
it, it just felt like a ghost town. Like, I didn't attend at all, but I saw pictures of it. Like, it looked dead. Like, it looked freaking empty. Like, it's the kind of empty that, that just feels depressing. Especially given the venue that they use. Like, you can see, I've seen tweets of it. I, I, I just couldn't believe it. Like, why? What were they thinking? This is a, a, a p pathetic attempt at competing with Anime NYC. And, and they lost big time. And it, it failed big time. I bet Reed Pop is thinking of something like, oh shit, we're in panic mode. We don't know what the fuck we're doing. And they had help from Anime Expo 2, which makes this even sadder. <sighs> well, Anime NYC is going to be quite a competitor to New York Comic Con. We're going to see the WWF and WCW of conventions in the coming years. The New York Con Wars have begun. Well, let's just hope that this does not happen. Yeah. Just looking at that just get, makes me sick to my stomach. So anyway, that's all of my thoughts of Anime NYC 2018 versus 2017. And I cannot wait to go back next year. Until then, I'm AliRx, and I'll see you on the other side.